Ethelflaed, the warrior queen who was the first Shropshire town planner. Ethelflaed, the daughter of Alfred the Great, was the first Saxon woman to rule a kingdom. Many of the urban centres we know today, including Shrewsbury, Bridge North, Chester, and Stafford, are Ethelflaed's gift to the Midlands. Ethelflaed, Lady of the Mercians, is the subject of a new book by Margaret Jones, who says that in recent years her story has been rediscovered by historians. Ethelflaed lived over 1,000 years ago, and she was powerful. She did what no Anglo-Saxon woman before her had done, she led her army in battle. Says Margaret in her book, Founder, Fighter, Saxon Queen, published by Pen and Sword. Shrewsbury had been founded between 901 and 912, to keep watch from a hilltop over a bend in the River Severn. St. Altman's Church, Shrewsbury is unusual in having retained the name and dedication of the original Ethelfladen Church. This is where Ethelflaed is said to have brought the remains of St. Alkmund, Eelmund, from Derby, to keep them safe from the Danes and to bless the newly established town. Margaret says while locals in Bridge North insist on dating the town from 1101 when a Norman lord built a castle there, but it is almost certainly the place referred to in the Anglo-Saxon Chronicles, where Ethelflaed built a burr, a fortified settlement, on a hill overlooking the river in 912. In 896 the marauding Danes had wintered near Bridgenorth, but were to find it impossible to do so again. Both Shrewsbury and Bridgenorth were entirely new towns built from scratch, she says, although Bridgenorth was in effect refounded in the 12th century when the layout of the main streets probably changed. As a warrior queen defending her realm against invasion, and as the founder of strategic towns like Runcorn, Stafford, Shrewsbury, and Warwick, she brought peace to the Midlands and paved the way for the unification of England. Click the link below to read the full article, or read the book. Please share this video.